Today I want to make an acid sounding synth saw line. We're taking a bit of a break from the remix, just one video, I'll get back into it in the next one, but for today let's just go ahead and do this. So I'm going to start with an operator, let's change it to a saw wave, and we'll make sure that we have one voice, one voice only, and let's just leave it like that. Let's go ahead and add in a clip, I'll choose 16th notes, we'll just go C, and I'm just going to duplicate those four times, and then again and again. So let's just play that. Real simple. So let's change some of these notes around. And I'll tell you what, I'll duplicate that four times. I don't want to focus too much on the notes. Yeah, why not? Let's keep that. Okay, so let's um let's turn on the glide so that when we extend a note out it will drag across. So we could go like this. Hold down the Alt key. One of those. Maybe like this. Not too bad. Now I need some kind of distortion, so I'm going to go ahead and use, we'll use the amp just to get an instant distortion sound, see what blues sounds like. It's quite loud. Now we can crank the resonance. Let's go straight ahead and add a reverb on it. Just give it some space, we'll go for the hybrid. It's quite nice. Let's get rid of the bass on the amp. Let's try the rock. <laughs> Already a lot of fun. Okay, so let's not add too many things here because I want to create some macros and some variations. We definitely need a kick. So let's just throw in... Um... We use these three. And let's uh, speed it up. And let's, uh, this, this is good. Let's sidechain it a bit from the kick track. So we'll go sidechain from here. Um, we're gonna have to use the EQ because the kick is huge. So we'll EQ just from like the highs, make the, the Q really sharp, just so we get a little peak and then we can, yeah, so let's have a listen to that. Okay, let's create a new sound here. Let's go down. Turn on the preview. Tell you what I'll do, let's go ahead and attach the velocity of the notes to the filter frequency and give that an 100 amount. Now we can change the velocity, we could just do a randomized velocity. Let's bring the reverb decay down. And of course we can play with the envelopes here as well. Let's try a different envelope mode.
what if we bring the drive up of the filter? I like the clean. This rock one is definitely the key. Bring the treble up a bit. Oh man, that's um, way better than I expected. Let's uh, randomize these again. Let's make this um, low note really open. Rock one's definitely the winner, I think. Let's try one more clip here. This is going to be two videos, I've decided. So <laughs> we'll do, um, yeah, well, I'll just do a little bit more sound design here, and the next one we'll make the actual rack. So let's make a whole bunch of low notes here. And we could add a, oh cool, we could add a MIDI effect note length. Make sure we bring the, oops. Make sure we stick to a saw. Let's bring the, um, yeah, we'll bring the release off. So now we can play with the length. And... Um, and let's randomize these as well. Let's make the velocity not have so much effect on the filter frequency. Make it 50. I think the reverb's giving it the spread. It's giving it a lot of like space, which is cool. We could add the spread here as well. Uh, one last thing, let's put in a flanger. This is probably going to be too much. But, um, sorry, a phaser. We'll go for a phaser before the reverb. Yeah, before the reverb. Let's turn off the LFO so we can just play at the center ourselves. Very good, so in the next video I'm going to group these all together, add some macros and then we'll make some variations.